Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review We Crashed, and this is an Apple TV Plus series focusing on the We Company or We Work Company, founded by Adam Newman and his wife Rebecca Newman, and this stars Jared Leto as Adam Newman and Anne Hathaway as Rebecca Newman, and this series is along with the Dropout and Super Pumped and a whole bunch of other things lining up to be, hey, we're the next big like true crime or true fraud or business, whatever kind of series coming out on these streaming services. And this one's definitely, you know, not the strongest. This is definitely not the dropout. I put it, honestly, I enjoyed Super Pumped probably a little bit more than this as well. This definitely has a lot less, like, big in-your-face style, but it's well-made. It has a sleek look to it. It's directed well. It's shot well. Pacing, though, I feel like this story was stretched way too thin because after a while, this the narrative beats that it has gets a little repetitive after a while, and you're just like, didn't I just watch this episode? And the hour, like, the hour-long episodes just stretch some of these stories out way too much and in general the story is interesting and crazy and weird and I watched the I think it was a Hulu documentary about WeWork and it's a compelling idea and story and this is crazy how this happened and like what the hell do they even do kind of thing but this show focuses a lot on the central relationship which is actually compelling and interesting these are interesting people um, Adam Newman is very interesting guy, and even Rebecca Newman has some interesting personality and approaches, and w her wanting to be an actress, and her wanting to start this school and absolutely revolutionize like child early childhood education and all these different kinds of things, and their relationship is compelling. It's just overstretched I think and that's where the steam starts losing and you get to this last episode where things start really to hit the fan and it's crazy it's compelling and you th it has a nice kind of fake out kind of ending where it's like do they get away with this or do they and that kind of thing it keeps you interested but in general I feel like this would have benefited like this yeah. This could even probably have been like four or five episodes, like really condensed down. Or if they trimmed the episodes down to like half hour episodes, I think this would have been perfectly fine. It just felt too stretched out and repetitive after a while. But you, the performances, Anne Hathaway kills it. She is enthralling. She's compelling. You can't look away. She draws you into this series in an intense way. I got so sick. <laughs> Of watching and listening to Jarrett Leto. Because, like, they show a video of Adam Newman at the end of the series, and this is very obviously an impression of a caricature of Adam Newman. And he sounds like... It basically sounds like Adam Sandler getting upset in, like, Hotel Transylvania. That's how obnoxious this accent is. And it's so weird. It takes you out of the film in the series, and it feels like it is an impression and not like somebody's really acting, they're putting on a performance, and it's just obnoxious a lot of the time. This series does deal with some really interesting things and compelling ideas, especially one particular episode that tackles, like, uh, feminism and where a woman's place is in the workforce and those kinds of things. It's just... It gets kind of bogged down in the melodrama after a while in this series. But, like, this is a solid watch. I enjoyed it. I felt like I got something out of it. This definitely isn't the best thing that Apple TV Plus has. Or it's definitely not the best kind of series like this that's out there. Like The Dropout. Um, but it is still something that, if this is up your alley, and especially if you're an Anne Hathaway fan, this is definitely something to check out. But those are my thoughts on We Crash. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some TV. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.